Hi and welcome. I'm so excited to be with you today. Today's topic is for you if you find yourself either on a Monday morning or on the first of the month saying, oh my gosh, I have no appointments. I have no appointments. Where does money come from? Our money comes from our thoughts, okay? So if we find ourselves on a Monday morning or the first of a month saying, hmm, I don't have any appointments. What do we make that mean, okay? Money comes from our thoughts. Our thoughts will invigorate us with energy or deplete us of energy. Whichever one we are, you can see how that's going to absolutely have an effect on our income. So if you have no appointments, what are you making that mean? If you're making it mean, um, I'm not gonna have any money in 30 days, or I don't know where my next deal's coming from, then you are choosing to stress over serving. And when we are getting out, meeting people, okay, in our local area, both online and in person, and we're inserting ourselves where we can meet local people, uh, be, be others focused, ask questions, come from a place of curiosity, listen, offer to help, make offers to help them buy, sell, or invest, right? Then we're creating money. Every penny, every dollar that you've earned up until this point in your career, you've created that. Okay, I want you to really embrace that. So right now, if this is you and you're like, hmm, I don't have any appointments this week. I don't have any appointments coming up. I'm dry. Okay, so you, have, you can choose to stress, which will deplete you of energy or say, I'm going to pile on the value. I'm going to pile on serving until I have a client. My hair's being weird. Okay, so... I want, you to, I want you to really, really picture what I'm saying. I want you to know that the fact that you do not have appointments, perhaps, on a Monday morning or the first of the month, it does not indicate your inability to make money, right? It doesn't say, I can't make money, okay? Well, what are you making it say? For example, if you're like, well, I don't know how the bills are getting paid next month. You are focusing on the lack and you're going to get more lack. Or you could say, you know what? I'm going to pile on the value. I'm going to serve. Who are you serving? I'm going to serve my past clients because there is a client value, client lifetime value. Have you, have you calculated that? If in fact you are in a career as an entrepreneur, as a realtor, and you know that you plan to be in this for you know 10 years, you will probably have uh, two or three transactions with each person with whom you are connected, okay? It is in your best interest to not stress and instead choose to dive in and serve past clients, making sure what? They, they know that you think they're important and that you're inspiring them, inspiring them in some way. It doesn't always have to be real estate. When you inspire someone, you attract them to you like a magnet. So if you know someone got a puppy, how can you inspire them? If you know that someone is, you know, their last child just, um, just went off to college and they're, they're becoming new empty nesters, what could you do to really Focus on creating money. How do you create money is your thoughts. So that's what I'm saying. Be creative and go ahead and serve, okay? I want you to understand that um, it's, it's one of these phenomenons, okay? I'm gonna share with you a couple phenomenons. Number one, you could have a listing and it sits and sits and sits. Next thing you know, you get two offers and you're like, wait, what happened? First of all, we didn't get any offers and now we have two after 30 days or 45 days or more on the market. That's one of those phenomenons. Another real estate phenomenon is 
is, you know, you're, you don't have anything or you have everything tied up in a bow and then you go on vacation and all of a sudden two or three people call you out of the blue and you're like, wait, why can't I just take a vacation? These are some real estate phenomenons. And I want to share with you that there are phenomenons that have to do with your thoughts in creating money. So I shared with you my story that it took me six months to get my first closing. And after that, I never had a month without a closing ever. And I will share with you that not only what I'm about to share work for me, but it works for my clients who actually embrace what I'm going to share with you. When you can picture people coming towards you with smiles on their faces, and I know this might sound woo-woo, and it's okay. I'm telling you as your coach what works. So when you can picture people coming to you smiling, and you know that in spite of what logic says, in spite of what I'm able to see, no appointments on my calendar, for example, they're coming. I know it. And when you are in that headspace, picturing them coming, picturing them coming, smiling faces coming to you. These are difficult clients. These are clients that are going to respect you, clients that are going to love you. And you picture that and you're like, in the meantime, I'm going to serve. I'm going to drop off um, maybe just a little surprise to my favorite three clients. Or even if they're not clients, I'm going to serve the HR person at the hospital because I know that she refers me business or do you know what I mean? So you're focusing on people coming and you're not just sitting there on your hands. You're actually purposefully remaining calm. Okay. You're going to make peace with the fact that you're in a lull and a lull does not mean trouble because many times I have to say, as I was, you know, as I was building my business before I even got a team, I'd be like, you know what? God's going to bring me a cash buyer. Yeah. And I am going to get paid next month. Boom. I'd get a cash buyer. Now I don't believe in, Hey God, I need this or that. Can you please give it to me? You know, I'm not saying that, but I am saying that what you think about grows and what you think about, will be boomeranged back to you. So let me uh, uh, offer you this. If and when you find yourself in a situation where you don't have appointments on your calendar, you're getting a little nervous, ask yourself, how, how do I manage others in my, my family, others who I'm in relationship with when they're stressed out? How do, I, how do I help them manage? How do I pour into them? And then think about focusing on others. That focus on others is what creates the money. Okay, the thought process of, I know that I need to make money and perhaps my savings is depleted or whatever, but ladies, please hear me on this. You have the power to pile on the value in your own brain with picturing people coming, okay? With putting out special emails, with making people feel special, putting out the value, knowing that smiling clients are on the way. Gosh, I hope this is resonating with you. Again, you can choose to stress or serve. When you are focused on, oh my gosh, how am I going to pay my mortgage? Oh my gosh, my kids, ortho, or, you know, my, my kids' braces. How am I going to pay for my kids' braces? How am I going to get groceries? All that. Think of it this way. A toddler. I have um, three, grand, three granddaughters, as you know. The one that's a toddler. If we say, if my daughter says we have to go do something, sometimes she'll stomp her little feet and she'll be like, no, okay? So think of your brain as a toddler. So 
when that toddler is stomping her feet saying no, what are you going to do? Are you going to take that toddler tantrum as something that you're going to react to? Or are you going to say, you know what? I get it. I know how you're feeling, but we're going to have to do this. Or I get how you're feeling, but mommy's the boss. And so we're going to do this and you're, you know, it's, and believe me, it's going to be okay. Or even if you don't like it, this is what we have to do, whatever. Okay. So your brain is like that toddler saying, but our mortgage, but what are we going to do? I don't know what to do. Ah, and like, you know, stomp in your feet. No. You're going to say, say to yourself, okay, because that's the nasty Nelly part of your brain. So then the creative Chloe part of your brain is going to say, I know, I know it's hard, but you chose to be an entrepreneur and you're a dang good realtor and you can do this. Just serve the clients you've already served, do less and obsess and watch what happens. That's the training today. Okay. A toddler is selfish and immature. And ladies, as an entrepreneur, you are the CEO. So you have to choose to be mature and wallow in your excuses if you must. But instead say, I get it. I get how you feel. Acknowledge the feeling. But you say, but you know what? I'm doing this. Come hell or high water, I am doing this. And I'm going to stay in action because I'm picturing it. I know that this is happening for me. I know I'm figuring this out. I know this is coming together. All right. So again, if this is you and you have no appointments and you're getting nervous, it's hard. But I want to encourage you to find thoughts that you believe that help you see that clients are coming. Picture your best client closing, whether that was last month, last year, two weeks ago, whatever. I want you to picture that. They were so happy. They were so glad that you were their agent and you left there feeling a certain way. Ladies, we don't celebrate enough. That's why we're making it so much so hard on ourselves. As soon as the deal's over, we've moved on to think, oh crap, now I got to recreate it. Ladies, here's the thing. When we sit in discontent, jealous of Susie, jealous of George, and we're not celebrating that which we've already had, those successes that we've already had, then we put ourselves in not enough brain. I'm not enough. My service isn't enough. You know, everything's crappy. Everything's, you're, you become a victim, right? And entrepreneurs that are successful you can't be a victim, right? You can't be that little toddler making excuses. So instead, we say, you know what? I don't have appointments right now, but I'm not going to make that mean anything. In fact, I'm not going to make it mean anything negative because I know clients are coming. Why? Because I have a deep belief in my gut of, as to the value that I bring to the table. I bring a whole lot of value to the table. And I know that by my past clients who were happy with me. Isn't that an empowering thought? And when you have that empowering thought, that makes you feel, whoo, let's go. Let's get this. Let's do this. I can figure this out. So then you get in action. And you don't change your mind and be like, yeah, I'll do that in a little bit. Now I'm going to go um, sweep out the garage or I'm going to go do the, do the laundry, or I'm going to go to the grocery store. Okay. That's not the action I'm talking about. And you know it. So money comes from our thoughts. I want you to remember that next time you're sitting there wallowing in self-focus, which I call self-obsession. When you are sitting in that self-obsessed energy, you are repelling people away. So instead I want you to be others focused, pile on the value, what can I do for these people? I'm going to do less and obsess. And you focus exactly on serving, picturing the people coming. They will come. All right.
So that's it for today. For your homework, I want you to find thoughts that you believe. Find thoughts that you believe or that you can choose to believe. I'm figuring this out. That's a very empowering thought that will get you in action, serving, right? Piling on the service, posting, going live, going to talk to people in person, making offers to help people buy, sell, and invest, okay? That is what your homework is. I would love you to go back into the Facebook, uh, the program Facebook and tell me, or email me if you're shy, tell me what new thoughts you're going to believe. Because I can tell you what you're not gonna do. You're not gonna be that toddler that makes an excuse or screams and, and, you know, and, and, and pounds their foot on the ground, okay? Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts are everything. Remember the model. When I feel like poopy doo, I have to think, hmm, I'm feeling negative. What thought is allowing me to feel yucky? I have no consults, or rather I have no appointments. Oh, hmm, that's okay. Instead, I'm gonna say, I'm going to have you know, appointments soon. In the meantime, I'm gonna pour into everybody that's in my, my favorite people. And I'm gonna make offers to help people buy, sell, and invest. And soon, I'm gonna get my next client. And then after that, and then after that, and then after that. Don't believe me? Try it. You'll be sending me a text or an email or posting in the program. Wow! Shortest training, most profound. I promise. Try. Test me on that. All right? I'll talk to you later. Let me know what you're thinking, please. I want to know what thoughts you're going to believe and remind yourself when the little toddler inside of you is making excuses and focused on scarcity. What kind of expansive thoughts can you believe? I'm figuring this out. Oh my gosh, is this fun? Yes, clients are smiling and they're coming to me soon. All right, let me know what you're thinking. Bye.